Hi everyone, it's Dario and Anita with Passion is Cooking. And yes. everyone was so excited about our spaghetti squash, so we decided to make it again and this time do a Facebook Live. So Absolutely. here is Chef Dario in the kitchen. Okay, so we, we baked the spaghetti squash. You can show over here quickly. So we bake it probably at 375 degrees with a little bit of unsalted butter, a, a touch of olive oil, and one clove of garlic sliced. Okay, so, so you sliced the spaghetti the, squash in half, you put the two halves in the oven. Correct. And With then butter. we actually took the pieces out of it because we didn't show that. We have a picture made. There we, we go. Here so we that's go. why it's called spaghetti squash because that is actually the inside of the squash. Exactly. So, here so we I go. just wanted to explain it because we only did the picture, darling. Beautiful. Okay, so now we got the spaghetti squash here. So we have a little bit of the roasted garlic and butter flavor inside, right? From the roasting over here. Mm -hmm. Now we have some spinach. A little bit of kale, one clove of garlic, mm -hmm. salt, pepper, olive oil, parmigiano. Okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do with the, the garlic, we remove the little center out, and here we go. We call it the germ, so the inside, it makes your stomach that's upset. So all that's one of the tips we've done in another video. Exactly, so here we go. So we're gonna chop finely the garlic, really, really fine. We still got some more in there, but we want to give a little bit more depth with it. Just like that. Beautiful. I like the garlic, so load it in, sweetheart. Okay, so here we're going to use the kale. So the kale, we're going to just quickly... Just like that. So we're going to look at... Oh, look at the colors. So now we're going to add the spinach. And we don't have to be too fancy with the spinach, okay? Because we don't want to bruise them too much. So I'm going to just break them like this and I'm going to just slice them like that. Large pieces. I'm going to add them right in again. Okay, beautiful. So you're going to make sure you taste this for me. You let me know how it is. Okay, we're going to bring it back in. So now, important. We, the, the squash is still pretty warm, okay? So we're going to toss them with the spinach with the kale, with the garlic, really carefully. Just like that. How does it look? Looks good. That's a I know, because we had the other day, so I know how good this tastes. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna, we're gonna make it again for us for tonight. Right? Mm -hmm. This is our Sunday night cooking adventure. I, I love on Sunday nights prepping for the week, and that's why we have our meal planner at passionscooking.com to get you to Get the groceries, get everything in place. So when you have your stressful week with work, you just that's right to zip things together. You know, we made our vegetable stock that we can use for the week for cooking and to make some soup. We made a granola today. Yes, we did granola today. I mean, there's just so many things that um, it's fun to cook in the kitchen. And Sunday is kind of a it's it's for us it's relaxing for most people. Once you get everything in that's place, right. it's a good thing to do is that's to right. have a relaxing time. Right? So we're gonna have the parmigiano now. Mm -hmm. So fresh parmigiano reggiano. So we wanna make sure that it really is fresh. And you know, I would say for one spaghetti squash, probably we're gonna have two tablespoons of fresh parmigiano. Very important if you can to grate it right there at the moment, okay? I just can't believe the amount of spaghetti squash that you get out of the Out of two. one squash. Out yeah, of one squash. Yeah, just one squash. While well, you look at it. And, and it really wasn't a very expensive no, thing it is to not. purchase. It is so not. What a great meal. And it's so easy to do it. I mean, you cut it in half. You put it in a baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter, some garlic, salt and pepper, and that's it. And we got the berry olive oil. We got a berry here. olive oil over here. We're going to add to it. Beautiful. So what is the olive oil? What, do you know why we add the olive oil? It's just because we need a little bit of nuttiness, okay? So we bring back the nuttiness from the squash. Is it not something to do also with the consistency though? Also the make, consistency, to exactly. To make sure everything kind of sticks to it? Correct, correct. But you know, for freshness. It's like when you're making a pasta. You know, it's the same thing when you're making a pasta. You wanna make sure then, you know, you finish with a little bit of olive oil. Remember we made that, wow, that was your dish actually, the zucchini noodle. 
We add a little They're bit of olive oil. All our dishes. Yeah, all our dishes. <laughs> so here we go. So we're gonna make sure that with the spaghetti are perfectly done, like that. Now, I know you are dying to do that, so I'm. No, gonna... you're gonna have to taste it because I'm videoing. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> we don't have someone videoing this time. Mmm. Oh my god. It's good. Perfect. We're gonna add a little bit more salt. Touch of pepper. So that's the thing, tasting is always good. So you very know. important, mm -hmm. very important to taste. I, I can't think of how many times I've done that made a meal and just gone by a recipe and then well, afterwards it's been too much salt. And, exactly. And like you always say, it's important to... Oh, oh we almost killed the dog. We killed the dog, so we gotta get rid of the fork. <laughs> hey, Trampy. Here we go. So now, this is the fun part. So you see what we got here? So we got a, a spaghetti. So we, it's almost like a double baked potato. The only thing, we're gonna make a double baked spaghetti squash, okay? So we're gonna do it like that. We're gonna add them just inside like that. You know what I think is nice too, if you're gonna have people over and friends, oh, yeah. which we always encourage to do. I mean, the whole thing for Passion is Cooking is to do it and connect, and that's with friends and family. Correct, and, yeah. You know, you can do this in advance, oh, and goodness. then the last few minutes, you just it. stick it in the oven. I actually think it's actually better to do it ahead. Because what happened, you can actually have the consistency of the squash setting, all the flavor kind of marrying together. And that's the best thing. Okay, so here we go. I think we did the, um, the spinach and a little bit more fine last time. Yeah, no, we want to. You do whatever you want to do, right? You can do whatever you want. I mean, we just want to make sure we show. Sure. The reason why I didn't do as fine as the last time is because I want I add the kale in it. Okay, so I want to make sure the composition of the kale. Just to build, you know, another healthy green that we can add to it. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I find it's a real good looking. Like when I posted our picture of what we did the other night. Yeah. Everyone was coming out and, and really wanting to know what, what we did because well, yeah. it's, it's a good looking meal and it's a healthy meal. It was a fr I was a, what we did on Friday night, I think. We did it on Friday night. You know, you're, you know, just to enjoy and something really healthy and something fairly quick, I would say. I find we're cooking more and more vegetarian, do you find? I do. I yeah, do. I think, I don't, I, I don't mean, really plan to. I know we don't really, but no, I mean, it's just. It's just about trying to have as much health as possible. And then when we have that steak or anything else. We enjoy just, it. Yeah. We enjoy it. There's nothing wrong to have a nice steak once in a while. You make sure that you know where the steak is coming from. But it's about also enjoying little things in proportion. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So now what I'm going to do is just this. We're going to grate some more Parmigiano. And what could you, if you wanted more gooeyness to a cheese than Parmesan, what would you do? You can put some Gruyere cheese. Okay. okay. You can put some Fontina. Fontina is a beautiful Italian cheese, cow's milk cheese. You can put some goat cheese if you want. There's nothing wrong to put some goat cheese. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea to put some goat cheese here tonight. Yeah, we actually we have some, so why don't we try it? Perfect. And uh, we're going to put it in the oven, 375 degrees for 10 minutes, and we're ready to eat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Ciao, ciao for now. Ciao, guys. Enjoy. Keep cooking. Dario and Anita with Passion is Cooking. Take ciao. care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.